Oh, okay. So it's part two. Um, this has to do with the counting stuff. Ever since we started lessons, we know there's time signature. And it was easy. It's very easy. Four, four. Top number, top number, how many? Bottom number, what? Gets one. The bottom number is actually a fraction. So if you take this number out, you get one, four, a quarter no equals to one. But unfortunately, it doesn't stay this simple forever. We separate these time signatures into two categories. We have the simple, we have the compound. Exactly what's simple? The basic value is divided into two. Ta-da! So what is compound? Hmm, the things are divided into three. Okay, the only one that's truly very confusing is 3a, because we have suspicion that it's compound meter, but it's actually a simple meter, because each one of these eight notes divides into two, 16. So therefore, it's compound meter. Ah, simple meter. I just did it wrong. Okay, 3a, simple meter. Don't get it confused. So that's that. Um, then it just depends on how many you have. If it's 2, 4, we call it simple because it's simple meter. And it's duple because there are two of them. And then 3, 4 will be simple triple. 4, 4 be simple quadruple. Ta-da! That's all done. Then in the compound family, you will have 6a. This is obviously going to be called compound duple. 9a compound triple. 12a compound quadruple. Okay. But it doesn't stop there. They are irregular meters. Meters are just not Regular, so irregular meters, usually you will see 5A, 7A, oh, of course you will see 5, 4, 7, 4, stuff like that. So if it's 5A, you could have 2 plus 3, or 3 plus 2. If it's 7A, you could have 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2. And then uh, the other combination. Okay. Sometimes ABIS and they ask you to write differently. So then they might give you say, okay, turn this into a compound meter. Then what do you do? You have to make it into 12A. Because 12A is another quadruple, right? So 12A will be a compound meter. Then you just make it this way. Ta -da, ta -da. This is still half of the measure, and then it's still a quarter of the measure, a quarter of the measure. Okay. And sometimes they like to test you on those things that are, um, like you have a random number of notes. If you think about, well, maybe I can do this. If you have four, four time, you start with a gigantic whole note. The whole note gets split into two half notes. Each of the half note then splits into quarter notes. Each of the quarter note then splits into two eighth notes. Note that splits into four sixteenth notes. I'm too lazy for the other side, so spare me. It's they're all going to be missing from now on. But we don't want to limit the composer's creativity to to the notation, right? What if a composer really wants three notes in a count? You cannot stop them from doing so. So, triplets are created. Ta da! Because that's subdivided into two, that's subdivided into four. Triplets, I demand for a notation for triplets. <laughs> I just didn't want to create a different kind of note, right? So, triplets. You can, in fact, have three notes. This is four. 
that's A. What if a composer wants to write 5, 6, 7? Da, 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 da. You still put 16 for this. But now you have to do this to let people know this actually. It's 5, 7, sorry. Mm -hmm. You can stuff 6 inside too. You're still using 16 for notes, but now it's 6. Do the same for 7. If you're in a compound meter, like 12A, there's such thing called duplet. What are they? Okay, so usually you're supposed to have three, right? Under normal circumstances. But if the composer really wants to, get to put two. And do this. Notice how usually this doesn't even add up to the time for that. But in this case, in a compound meter, you can do this. And then it's smaller. Versus here, if you don't have this, this exceeds the value, right? But over here, this actually, if you don't have this, is too, it's not enough count. But once you do this, it kind of elongate each one of them. And then you can just put two in a quarter without a quarter. And then the next thing you have to be careful of, but there's a lot of standard notation stuff that ABRSM expect you to know. So, okay, so they're saying that in the time of 9-8, if you're going to have a full bar, because we don't have a notation to indicate 9-8 notes, so it's okay to tie a half note to a dotted quarter, but it's not okay to do it any other way. Then in 12A, it's okay to place the half dot and half in the front tied to a dot a quarter. For that, 9 8 notes total that note, but it's not okay to do it this way. Okay, so it's okay to. So basically, if you really look into it, it's you just you put the dot and half note either on the front part or the back part of the measure. And then another thing that I think it's well, this is kind of obvious that if you're in 6A time, don't tie two eighth notes together if they're in the first part or the second part of the, of the um, measure. I mean, I'm sure if it's like this, then you're definitely allowed because that's two different sets of threes. So you're allowed to tie the last one of the first one and the first one the second one. That's fine, but then if it's like this, where it's clearly divided in the middle, try to make sure don't do it this way. Okay, another thing I felt that, that I need to remember myself is in 3-4 time, if you have two counts of rest, right, two quarter rest, do not put a half rest, okay? All right, so then let me just go over the standard notation a little bit. If you're in 4-4 four, four time, try to organize notes into quarters so it's definitely not okay to a five sixteenth and a dot an eighth and a quarter quarter that's definitely not okay things have to be organized into quarters so this would have looked like this instead of that and then i think it's very important that you in four four time try to think of it that there's an imaginary line Class. So try to not do stuff like this. I think in this case, you really should take it apart and then tie it together. Okay, so as a question for this clip, I think why don't you just Organize this into standard notation for me. It's 4-4 four, four time. And again, if you email, I will let you know what the correct answer is, or you can just email me and so I will tell you what's wrong. And I think, yeah, I think that's it for this clip. I think this one why there isn't as much to watch out.
before. Just always remember the compound meter and the simple meter. And in the test, it say, let's say if you're originally in, let's say, 3A time, and then you have this, and they ask you to double the value, it becomes 3, 4. They become quarter notes. And then let's say if you're originally in 12A, and they ask you to half the value, then it will become 12. 16. So 12, A would have four sets of this, 12, 16, we'll have three sets of that. Okay, good luck.